Are you wanting to create a game, but you don't want to have to hire someone or you just want to learn how to do it yourself? If that's the case, then this is the right video for you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own thumbnails like this. I'm going to put up a whole lot on the screen. I am a YouTuber myself as well as a game dev, so I have a whole lot of experience, multiple years of it. Now, I'm going to give you all that information here in like a 15 minute video. Okay, so this video will mainly be focusing on how to create these type of thumbnails or like the 2D type where it isn't much 3D, even though they can still look very good as you can see. And if you want to learn how to make 3D thumbnails like this, then there should be a little thing on the top right that you can click on. Or if the video is not out yet, then you'll just have to subscribe and wait for it to be out. But that video will pretty much explain everything about 3D design and how to make 3D thumbnails. These And this one is a whole lot easier and less time consuming and a lot quicker to learn. So I do recommend you to learn this. And these skills in this video are also needed to learn how to do a 3D ones. There are a couple things that I would recommend you to do. And first of all, it would be to download this software right here. I think I might have mentioned it in my previous videos. It is called paint.net. Um, pretty much like every YouTuber, Roblox YouTubers use this, like a whole bunch of Roblox YouTubers use this. It's really safe, trust me. The website might look a little bit sketchy. You can look up a tour tutorial online how to download it. There will be a link in the description if you need that. But this thing is where you create all the action. And obviously you don't just like draw the thumbnails because that'll be crazy. But something else I rec recommend you to do is join this game right here. This game I have in my favorites and I will link it down in the description. And pretty much what it does is it gives you a whole lot of backgrounds and it gives you like a green screen right here. You can go inside of here, you can open up your post editor and you can actually like pose your character. So then you actually have somebody. Um, I used to use this quite a bit in my other older videos, but now I kind of just 3D model it myself since I know how. But this is still a very good method if you don't actually want to learn that. Here you can see I made it like that. I'd also recommend you if you have windows use snipping tool and recommend you to get as close as you can. So then adjust best quality because the closer the best quality and snipping tool boom. Clip that copy that and I would put that straight into paint.net right here. Boom. Or you can actually use another, this website right here. I'm also going to link this in our description. You just paste the image down here and it will remove the background for you. So you don't actually have to do anything. But sometimes it doesn't do the best job. Let's see if I put it back here and I kind of zoom in and I look at the edges. You can see there's still a bit of green. But if you want to fix that on your own, you can just go to toolbox right here. Click this wand. Click on a couple of those. Um, there's a setting here. Turn it to the sun mode. You could global it's called make it dial it down a little bit dial it down this is pretty okay this is just for the ones that aren't transparent and then you kind of just want to repeat this process for similar looking ones so what this does it kind of like looks for ones that look the same see and it looks all around and i don't know why it's kind of going in the fingers but if something is actually centered like this what i would recommend you to do is go like this subtract boom and you can kind of just get rid of them if there's anything that they did wrong like if your clothing is that color or actually back in here you can on the right change colors and levels you can actually change the color of it if you change the hue so if your character is like fully green you can make it red and then you can just green screen red but i'm not going to do that because my crown um i think green kind of works the best for me even though it's still not the best i don't know there's not really that good of a color for me now you pretty much have like a character you can see it's kind of low quality of course you want to pose it you want to pose it in the actual game but when you have this you have to remember that the format is i think it's exact same as youtube's here let me just open up one of my past logos yeah here's one of my past logos i'm just gonna uh, look here in image gonna go to canvas size just so i can see yeah here's the aspect ratio 1920 and 1080 here you can look at these you can put this into your own just so it doesn't look very weird and there's like black edges on your thumbnail and you also do want to create an icon too. But you can see this one is made in Blender. Um, I made this all by myself also. As I said, I will make a video about that. But here. So what I actually like to do is grab a past thumbnail, post it in, expand canvas. And kind of just drag it away because it's not really needed. Put your character wherever you want. Let's say like middle. You know, I like middle. And then I would, what I usually do if you look at my thumbnails is I have like a steady good old background. And by that, I mean like a solid color with like blur or something. 
But something I actually recommend to you. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't work because this isn't YouTube. Okay, let's look at this. This is from my YouTube. I made this like a year ago, so it's not really the best. Uh, you can see very PNG and stuff. Very not that good, actually, not that good. But um, if you have stuff inside your game, like let's say this is my game, you know, I would recommend you to like go back to Cinemic Tool. Just like take a big old snippet of something. Doesn't really matter the size, but bigger is better. Put it into the background, kind of extend it a whole lot. Blur it out. If you go here, effects blur. Uh, use this blur. This blur, blur is really good. Blur it out. And normally what I actually do is if I use a character, I would put them in like the corner, like peeking out like this. But this lighting does suck because I kind of forgot to adjust the lighting. But that's okay because if I go back to Roblox, go back to my profile, and I actually click on this thing. This thing is a PNG image. It's like of your head. If you just need a photo of your, like, your head, then just use this because it's kind of good quality, I guess. You know, put it like there. And boom. Let's say, let's say your game has, let's say the game is about swords. I would go to Google and I would search up sword. I would go to images and this is really good. This is really useful. I did not learn this until like a year after my journey. Go to transparent. Look right here. The, the run size, transparent. This is only on Chrome. I don't know how you would do it otherwise. But as um, here's a whole lot of swords, right? And of course you don't want to like steal completely. But if I look, let's see a good sword. Oh, I like this one. This one's cool, you know? Put that there let's say i'll put it behind my character because there's layers here add layer right here kind of i don't know um you should probably watch a youtube video on how to how to use paint.net and you kind of just want to put whatever your game is about so if it's swords i'll put like swords maybe maybe let's make it a little bit bigger and rotate it and then add another sword and then rotate it and boom we got two swords just like that looks really cool merge those two layers down but that's like the thumbnail isn't that good because thumbnails actually take a whole lot longer than you might actually think and i would maybe blur it a little bit i don't know just blur it and then maybe i actually should have put my character there but whatever uh the background really does suck because it's not actually like of a good game or something but if i actually just google it let's pretend that i don't know none of these let's just borrow this guy's thumbnail okay there's also something you could do steal people's thumbnail don't do it though i mean like just kind of steal it this is what i do I don't actually do this anymore. I kind of just steal my own thumbnails. But, and then you go like this, you blur it, you know, blur it a little bit and it, make it very colorful. Don't want people to recognize it or if you don't really care, it doesn't matter. But if you want to change the hue up so it doesn't look like a complete copy, you know, make it, let's see, what was it like originally? Like this, let's make it like this. I like this, this is cool, you know, like, this and if i usually put like glow and stuff on it you know glow brightness down contrast blah 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 wow look at that glowing swords and stuff you know i like a backdrop on my guy this software is completely free by the way if i did not mention that but go like that add a backdrop maybe and boom here's pretty much like basics obviously i would put like a hot a whole lot more stuff in something i also usually do is um Okay, I have a Robux sword here. Again, transparent. I go to like a sword, you know, good old sword. Let me see a new one that's kind of good. I would kind of put it at right here, I like guess. And I would just kind of make a background out of it, you know, because why not? Why not? They just look cool, in my opinion. Uh, I'm obviously not putting that much effort into this. But after you do that, I would kind of usually make it a whole lot brighter. Uh, lighter let's say saturate it not that much but like this much you know so you can still kind of see them visibly i'd obviously add like a whole lot more stuff here and the final touch or usually the final touch for me is adding text so you could just go here and add text bold italics which pretty much just makes it slanted and here's all the fonts there's not every single font that you want but if you want to quickly see if they have a font just press whatever letter on the keyboard it starts with and I'll bring you right there. If I do like L, it'll bring me down L, K, O, C, uh, P, I mean, P. And let's say you like this font, you know, I don't know why. If you have like a scary game or something, I would, I usually do bold and then I would make it red. And it doesn't really matter if it kind of like blends into the background, but I do want it to be pretty big. You know, words are pretty big. If you have a logo, I would also recommend like put it in the corner or something, but logos, I would maybe recommend you hire someone unless you have a whole lot of knowledge i say the game name is weave 
we want it to look like that we like that okay change the color to like green you know so it's contrast then what i would do is i would go to glow glow is your friend okay glow is your best friend i would glow this thing up glow it up glow it up doesn't this is why it doesn't matter about like the color at first because even if it blends it in the background because after you glow it up and then you go back to glow this time zero brightness maximum radius maximum contrast or you can kind of adjust the contrast um then it kind of adds a dark shadow and boom this is pretty much how you create a basic thumbnail this one does obviously really suck let's see if i can show you another example okay these are youtube thumbnails and they are also pretty old like a year or something but you can see use a whole lot of png images um this is a youtube thumbnail like i said and but they do kind of follow a whole lot of rules you can see i have a background and guess what's blurred in the background my old thumbnail and what's go guess what's glowing in this background my other old thumbnail and these are okay but kind of google's your friend okay you're probably not gonna get copyright whatever let's say i want a fireball google is really good okay google's really good don't draw stuff drawing stuff is way too hard google is your friend you're kind of just putting everything together uh i don't know what these are but i guess i like this one i add the fireball make it a whole lot bigger you know make it like it's incoming make it look like it's about crash and do something i don't know just flying around and then there's also some very good blurs which are very useful one of them is zoom blur zoom blur you can probably tell it zooms whichever way you want zoom blur is really good for stuff that you want to add motion to there's also a motion blur but it really sucks so don't really use that and like i said before glow glow is your friend you know obviously not like this but just to make it interactive with the environment a little bit more and words words are really good like here um if you combine stuff i kind of search up hands like i search up hand i remember and then i search up like fireball and these liner line thingamajigs these are also really good obviously okay also ignore if the thumbnail sucks right now because i don't really care about that the reason it sucks is all because I'm just making random stuff, okay? If you actually have a goal and you know what your video and you know what your game is actually about, then it will be a whole lot easier. Thumbnail will look a whole lot better. <laughs> not, not like guess. This is a whole mess. But if you want lines, I guess, then search up speed lines again. Tools, color, transparency, and I, uh, mm, I usually grab white ones, except they sometimes don't show up white until you already click on it. Here, I think these ones are good. Yes, I use these many times before many many times but yeah if you want to learn how to make some of the guests also um also the fact that i'm making this in like 20 minutes doesn't help me doesn't help my case you want to spend time you want to you want to plan it out kind of well you can kind of plan it out as you go but you still want to kind of have an idea of what your thumbnail is actually supposed to be about and the same rule applies for actual icons but now i did that i would go back and give it some more zoom you know right in the middle these two thumbnails are also pretty good examples. You see background add stuff like this. And this is a YouTube thumbnail, so it's a whole lot different and it's really minimal. Here I clumped a whole bunch of things together, so it doesn't really look good, okay. But um I guess you also can steal things. I did not make that, I did not make that. I made this one. That one's pretty cool, you know? Background's cool. This is really minimal kind of stuff. I don't know, it's kinda of like going for a look, going for your kind of design here and this video you're watching right now is another one of these woo and yeah i think that's pretty much it um uh, if you have any questions or you need any help you can leave a comment in the comment section or you can actually become a channel member and you can have a 1v1 call with me whenever you want as long as you're a member so that's also a really good way if you want to become rich or you want to have lots of success inside of your game dev business but i think that's gonna be the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one